There are 11 entries in this 21st renewal of the Little Brown Jug, and they stem from such famous fathers as Adios, Good Time, Gene Abbey, Tar Heel, Bye Bye Bird, Torpid, Dancer Hanover, and Cape Town. Truly, these are the cream of the nation's three-year-old pacing crop. Romeo Hanover and George Schulte have drawn the number six post position today, and inside them at the number two spot is Romeo's chief threat, Bonjour Hanover, the great Philly champion. Overcall and Patterson are in the eight post. Meadowlenko and Del Miller have the number nine spot. The post parade for the first heat of the 1966 Little Brown Jug, Niagara Bird, driven by Clint Galbraith, Bonjour Hanover and Stanley Dancer, Clay with Billy Houghton, the Big Bear and Wally McElmurray, Chris Time and Dick Buxton, Romeo Hanover and George Schulte, Mr. Lucifer with Joe Marsh Jr., Overcall and John Patterson, Meadowlenko and Del Miller, Silent Bird and Vernon Dancer, Good Time Boy with Jimmy Laurent, and Bank Time handled by Gene Regal. Twelve of Harness Racing's greatest three-year-old pacers in behind the starting gate. And here they come. They're off and pacing Clay. First away on the inside, Chris Time out fast on the outside. The big bear up there in the thick of the chase and Romeo Hanover as they swing round the turn. That's Chris Time going to the front, leads now by a length. Up on the outside, the big bear is second. Clay third along the rail and Romeo Hanover fourth and driving on the outside. The Big Bear goes to the front on the back stretch, and Romeo Hanover flying now goes for the lead. Romeo Hanover to the front as they reach the quarter mile mark, and they reach that station in 29 seconds flat. It's Romeo Hanover now by two lengths. The Big Bear second by two. Racing in third is Chris Time, and Clay is fourth. Niagara Bird fifth, and Bonjour Hanover sixth. Silent Bird is seventh, and Good Time Boy eighth as they come to the stretch for the first time. Bank time, ninth, Metalenko, tenth, Mr. Lucifer, eleventh, and Overcall trails the field. Romeo Hanover out in front by a length and a half. The Big Bear is second. Up on the outside, Bonjour Hanover is now third, Chris Time fourth. Following Bonjour Hanover on the outside now is Silent Bird, and right behind him is Good Time Boy. They swing around that first turn with a Romeo Hanover in front by a length. And Bonjour Hanover is coming at him. It's Romeo Hanover now by three quarters of a length. Bonjour Hanover up alongside in second with three-eighths of a mile to go. The Big Bear third down along the inside and Silent Bird is fourth on the outside. Chris Time fifth, Good Time Boy is sixth, and Clay is seventh. Going into the three-quarter mile mark, Romeo Hanover, three-quarters of a length. Bonjour Hanover right there, second on the outside. The Big Bear third and Silent Bird moving up. And Romeo Hanover is drawing away. It's Romeo Hanover. He's moving out now to lead by four lengths round the turn. Bonjour Hanover is second, Silent Bird third. And here comes Good Time Boy on the outside. Romeo Hanover by four into the stretch, but Good Time Boy is coming at him. It's Romeo Hanover. Good Time Boy is closing. But it's Romeo Hanover in the first heat of the Little Brown Jug. In second is Good Time Boy, Silent Bird is third. And the mile in 201 and two-fifths here on a drying track in the wind at Delaware. For Romeo Hanover, it's now 14 victories in a row and 14 of 15 he's raced this year. He has not been beaten since his first race of the season on May 6th in the Battle of Brandywine. The handsome chestnut coal is owned by the Lucky Star Stables of Brooklyn, New York, and Morton Finder of New York City. By Dancer Hanover out of Romola Hanover, Romeo was voted the two-year-old Pacer of the Year in 1965 after he had won 13 of 16 races and cleaned up just about every honor available in his age and gait division. All along, he has been considered the heir apparent to the Brett Hanover throne. Romeo was aptly named, there never was a more handsome devil than this big chestnut. <laughs> 